Hey guys, Plasma1945 with you. We're going to go to back to the basics because that is the voice of the people who are watching this channel and I really appreciate it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and do the SU-27 bomber intercept mission. Now, while it's loading up, make sure you subscribe to the channel, share it, like it, and do all the other good stuff. The bomber intercept mission happens over Caucasus. Everybody should have that map. And I think this is a great mission for everybody to practice on because it's a 2v6 scenario. You get to fight some F5s, you get to fight the F16s, they're the main challenge in this mission, and you get to shoot down some F4 Phantoms and take out some bombers. So, let's jump in. First things first, we're going to see a zoomed in version of the MFD display with our radar indicator in the corner and our RWR. We're going to unpause and first thing, we're going to go maximum speed, extreme afterburner action here as we try to climb up. What you should have quickly configured is turn on your radar, go into BBR mode, mode 2, radar on, and there we go, we see our bomber, that's the big guy right up top here, and we've got the two F5 smaller radar targets coming in hot. We're going to lock them up and watch that arrow as it comes down for our range. While we're closing the distance, I'm going to hit the backslash to open up my comms, I'm going to go flight F1, F1 to engage, and F3 to engage any bandits that are on our nose or any bandits whatsoever. Your AI pilot's a bit of a moron. You have to keep doing that and you'll see me doing that a few times, but backslash and then F1, F1 and F3 to tell them to go shoot down any bandits that are out there. Closing rapidly as the arrow passes that solid block on the left side of the HUD. That means the hostel is in the no escape zone. Our RWR has now picked up the radar from the F5 because they're locking me for a gunshot. They have no missiles. So this is just a bit of target practice. I'm already at Mach 1.5. That guy is down. Let's lock up this guy. I'm going to go nose to nose here. I could try to take some gunshots on him. I'm going to zoom in. He's going to fly right in front of me. There's the merge. Let's see if my wingman can do anything here. I'm going to pull back on my thrust. Make a turn and let's see if I can spot that F5. Now once the F5s are shot down, the next wave of planes will show up after the F5s and the uh, bomber are gone. I'm looking for that F5. This is where we're having VR. It really helps because you can spin your head around. There's that F5 passing right in front of me. He's quick and he's real maneuverable. Don't want to lose my airspeed. Now, over there you can see past my HUD. Oh, all right. My wingman has shot down the F5. Beautiful. There it goes. And I'm going to regain my speed, hammer that afterburner, and start climbing back up because the B-52 is falling right in front of me as well. All right, now the formation of the next wave is a five ship. It's a two ship of F-4s to the north, a B-52 in the center, and the F-16s to the south. So I'm flying 240. That's approximately where the F-16s are going to show up. They're going to spawn in right now, and this is where it gets dicey. I'm going to bring up my comms. I'm just going to hold it right there, and I'm going to hit engage hostiles as soon as they appear. There they are. They've just appeared. F3. I'm looking for these guys here. There they are, right on my nose. Fox 1. Now, once they lock you and start shooting AIM 120s, you're going to be in trouble. You'll need to do some piloting, or I would recommend diving for the mountains to your left or to your right and try to drag them, drag the hostiles there. Now, one of the hostiles has turned on me. He's flying right for me. ER is on its way. I'm not getting any RWR from them, so maybe they're not locking me. Maybe I was outside of their radar range. One guy's diving. The other guy's continuing on course. I've got authorization of switched missiles to the ET. I'm going to fire an ET at that guy. And I'm going to break lock right away. Switch to vertical scan. Not in range yet. Okay, radar back on. 
Okay. Someone's locked onto me. Defending. Defending, defending. 1F16's down. My wingman is reporting that there's multiple missile launches. Going over the top, pulling back on the stick. That F-16 is engaging my friendly. The first one ignored me because my missile was right on his butt. Over the top. There's a B-52. I don't care about the B-52. Got to save my wingman. Vertical scan. He's locked. R-73 select. I'm pulling my nose slightly forwards. Fox 2. The reason I pull my nose forwards is so that the missile does not need to pull high Gs. I'm kind of helping my missile out. Something I learned flying the F-5. Boom, there's a hit. All right. Both F-16s are down. We are in a good shape here. That guy's on fire flying by. Now, do we still have a wingman? Let's open up the comms window. Our wingman is gone. Something to keep in mind. If you do get shot down here in this flight, but your wingman is still alive, what you can do is you can go F-10 click on the airplane that is your wingman and press right alt j and what that will do is it'll basically let you jump right into the cockpit of that wingman's plane and you take over pretty neat we've got this guy locked up that's the b-52 and i'll show you something really interesting here the russian radar on the su's has a limit to how far it can see so what i'm going to do is i've got the radar on the b-52 is kind of above me and i'll show you how to track a target within a gimbal limit so there goes the b-52 i'm scanning up and a plus one is that him that i've got locked up bring my nose up there's a circle on him okay so that's the b-52 that i've got locked up now here's something interesting the circle is the target that i've locked now watch the center of my hud do you see that solid dot that solid dot is the position of the target in relationship to my radar beam and as it tries to reach the edge of my hud the atk symbol in the bottom left hand corner is going to start blinking this means that i'm about to lose the track on the target see that blinking if i hold this course for a second longer it'll break the lock just like what happened there. Let's get this guy locked up and let's get rid of him. So let's fire an ER at him. So there's that Fox 1 launch. And now I'm turning away. Now watch that dot as it creeps towards the circle. And the target's been splashed. Now if I hold it right there and see the ATK is blinking, as soon as I come back to the target, well, it should go solid, but in this case, the target got shot down. Let's eliminate the second F4 Phantom, and what I'll do is I'll show you that again. The reason this is really important, what you're able to do is you are able to basically know when you're about to lose lock when you're guiding a missile. When you're guiding your Fox 1, because you have to have a lock on the whole time through. Uh-oh, I'm going for a merge. Popping flares. Fox 2. Whew. That was close. All right. Whew, okay, that was intense. I turned right into that uh, to that phantom. Okay, back to the story, guys. So, when you're firing a Fox 1 missile, you have to guide it all the way to the target. Now, let's do the whole lock-on process here. A little bit of an emergency tutorial. I'm going to press Shift-H, right Shift-H to bring up my sun visor. On the data link, I can tell the... Bomber is above me. I'm going to slow down a little bit. I'm going to start bringing up my radar upwards until I see him on the radar. There he is. He's appeared at plus four. The reason he's appeared there is because that's where my beam is pointing. Plus three, plus four, maybe even plus five. There he is. All right, so we got him locked. He's right above us. He's running away. Now you see that dot that's appeared? right in the center of the HUD. That solid dot is the position of the airplane in relation to our radar limit. So again, as I bring it down here, watch the ATK, it starts blinking. I come back up, we've got a solid lock. And I've got launch authorization, so 
pretend this is a hostile and we're going to fire a missile at him. There goes our Fox 1. Now we have to hold the lock. As soon as we drop lock, the missile will go stupid. So you can turn away, pop flares, do whatever you got to do as long as you don't lose that lock. There's blinking. Come back in. You can pull away in the other direction. That B-52 is falling, so this is not really going to work, but... Pulling away, pulling away, pulling away. As soon as that ATK starts blinking, we know we're about to lose lock. There we go, we're about to lose lock. Turn back in, lock is re-established. Alright guys, that was kind of an emergency course on splashing targets. We lost a friendly, we've killed all the bandits. And uh, let's bring it back to land. I know that was a ton of information that I called out. Rewatch this video, drop a comment, of course, drop your likes and share this video. Leaving any comment actually helps the YouTube uh, algorithms. So leave all those comments there and I'll be super happy. And uh, I'm going to try to find a home base to land on. I think that's some missiles left and some fuel.